Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with a brand new video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samai aka Dariolo G, Weez G and Z Gaming, rank 50 and even mac daddy these people are our channel members on our youtube platform and i would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support so we're going to get straight into the video Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your Watch Your Death mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then I will leave this mod inside my description below. So make sure you download this mod. Once you have completed that process, then all you gotta do next is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it, right click and open file location. Now this process will open up your game folder which is your main folder. So make sure that you do install your requirements first. If you don't know how to install your requirements then I do have a tutorial inside my description below on how to install your requirements. Once you have completed that then make sure you create a squids folder. If you do not have a squids folder then all you gotta do is just click on right click on your mouse and create a new folder and rename that folder scripts. Make sure that you spell scripts correct and make sure that your scripts is lowercase. Once you have completed that process then all you gotta do is open up your scripts folder. Make sure that you install nativeui.dll, the latest version and then once you have completed that, then open up your Watch Your Death Mod Extract folder. Now inside that folder will be two files. The DLL file and the INI file. All you gotta do is select your DLL file and your INI file and drag it into your scripts folder. Go back to your extract folder and exit out of your extract folder. Now the next thing you gotta do is go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, then right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and then I'll see you all in the game. And we are back as Franklin. So we're gonna go outside because that is where it's all gonna be happening. Now, once you are inside the game, now there's a few things that you can do. You can either respawn, commit suicide, or you can revive yourself, okay? So, to commit suicide, all you gotta do is press K on your keyboard. And then you'll die straight away. Now, as you guys can see, that I'm dead and I'm on the ground and I'm watching my death. But, if you wanna revive yourself, then all you gotta do is press your L key and then you'll automatically get up like you're brand new, okay? Now, there is another way too. If you wanna respawn at the hospital, you can, all you gotta do is make the cops kill you or enemies, which I'm gonna commit suicide. Now, when you're on the ground, okay, all you gotta do is press your O key okay press your O key on the keyboard and then now you will respawn at the closest nearest hospital now as you guys can see I'm at the hospital now and there you go see so that is how you use the mod okay uh, the mod is pretty awesome though it is pretty useful especially when you're using add-on pads because with add-on pads when you use add-on pads mod and if you die you will automatically spawn at the hospital as Michael 
and now you gotta start again and now you got to go back to your add-on pins and now change back to the pair that you recommended okay so if you do not like it when you change back to Michael then I highly recommend using this mod okay guys so I really highly recommend using this mod if you don't want to change back as Michael so I'm gonna show you guys again one more time on how to use this mod all you gotta do is press K to commit suicide and then once you die you can revive yourself by pressing your L key now you can respawn by pressing your O key and then you will respawn at the nearest hospital now if you're using add-on peds mod then the L key will be used for the add-on peds now you can change the key on this mod all you gotta do is go into the i9 file and then change the L key and that's all you guys gotta do so I hope you do enjoy this mod and we are back again so I hope you guys do enjoy this mod okay so like I said if you guys do need help installing this mod then please let me know in the comments I'll be more than welcome to help you out but if you do need help installing any other mods then I'll be more than welcome to help you out so with that I said I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you did then smash the like button or subscribe for more gaming content and I'll see you guys on my next video thank you for watching peace and I'm out